This channel is sponsored by Alpha Draft. Create your own custom teams from players all around the world for the LCS World Championship Series this entire month. Welcome to the League of Legends Actual Champion Spotlight, featuring Fiora, the Grand Duelist. Holy shit, this chick is a fucking serial killer. Others try, I kill everyone. Others try, I succeed. These mana costs, this true damage, guaranteed crits, fucking heals, this goddamn repost, repost, however the fuck you pronounce it, it might as well be renamed to LOL, I'm the best eggs, D. The fuck was Riot thinking when they remade all these juggernauts? Darius heals without a care in the world, Garen deals true fucking damage on every spell against a villain, Skarner gets a shit ton of movement speed, and Mordekaiser is just a complete douchebag saying, her -da -da, I get a dragon. But Fiora, holy hell. Your Q, low mana. Just spam it, who the fuck cares? Your W blocks every fucking spell. Your E, guaranteed crit and slow. Your passive, true damage on every auto attack and, 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 and a goddamn heal. Not like you ready get one with your ult. Oh, it's like a mini game. Yeah, fuck you. It's more like a mini game to see how fast you can make the enemy leave the fucking game. Yeah. All right. Oh, baby. Let's go. Yeah, Matt. <laughs> Matt, you're not playing Scion. You know, I was going to kill those wolves for level three. <laughs> Fuck. I'm, I'm not level two yet. I'm, I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> I finished what I started. For hey, me. on the upside, uh, Poppy's level three now. Yeah. And now I'm level two. Well, you know, and I there tried. there is. And you know what? This is just a handicap. That's how you win. That's how you win games. And it's just so simple. Dash on them, hit them, get a kill. And you know what? At at the end of the day, it just it feels mean. Like I I feel mean. I have to surrender because I just feel like a douchebag. But you know what? With all the damage that Fiora does, we you know we we already knew that. We all knew Riot fucked us when they reworked her assets. I mean, it's as overplayed as the sound effects you hear on every Vine video. It's been a long day. What the fuck is this shit? But you know what here? We're nice people. We're not gonna be mean, you fucking inbred. So sit down because I'm gonna blow this fucker open because instead of talking about how OP AD Fiora is, we're gonna dive into the real fun. And that's AP Fiora mid. And that'd be nice, except I accidentally picked fiddlesticks. It's not my fault they're so close to each other. Look, I'm middle sticks. Farming makes me want to kill myself. I licky boom boom down. It took me four games in order to get a victory screen. You see, I did some research, and after a bunch of encoding and my OP hacking skills, I found out the true way to play Fiora, and that's going full CDR AP baguette. Fuck you, Riot! I beat League of Legends! And why? Well, because, you know, my friends go on hit Brom Jungle when I'm trying to get footage, and you know what? I'm all, I, I kinda want these guys to suffer. They need the taste of their own medicine. So here's a chart that I made about AP Fiora compared to AD Fiora. AP Fiora. Your Q is on a two second cooldown as long as you hit something with it. You deal true damage because of your passive, you still crit because of your E so you still do a shit ton of damage, and your W has a 100% AP ratio that goes through minions. Now let's compare it to AD Fiora. I, I didn't make a chart because I'm lazy, fuck you. Is it good? Fuck no. Is it fun? Fuck yes. Should you do it? Fuck no. Mom, you can't just barge into my room when I'm working. It's a game, I was just, I was, it was they're pictures! No one jacks off the pictures anymore! Alright, so here's what we're building. Morello Namacon and Ionian Boots for full CDR, Lich Bane, Ludin's Echo, and 5 Anal Beads. You know, Riot tries to trick you with her passive Duelist Dance by writing a bunch of gibberish like Vitals, throwing some numbers at you, and calling it fencing just so they can distract you from what it really means. But that's okay, we can still make this work because we're going AP Fiora, not that pussy easy win AD Fiora bullshit. Since it doesn't fucking matter what you build on her, you're still going to do a shit ton of damage for no goddamn reason. I mean, this is... <laughs> this is... It's the best... You you can't go wrong with this build path. I mean, only, only idiots ignore this build path. I mean... <laughs> Look at how strong she is! Come on! Make me look good! Ha! Your Q is lunge. You dash over a short distance and then stab them. Not auto attack, not jab, but stab an enemy with your sword. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I gotta use fencing terms, right? Okay, like, um, a foil. 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 
I should just stayed in college. And the thing is that you can lunge over walls like this. Okay, we're just gonna lunge over this wall. Okay, we're just going to lunge. Okay, we're just gonna fuck a lunge. Flash over this wall and okay. Fuck. But here's the cool part. If you build full CDR along with the effect of the ability's cooldown being reduced by 60%, when you hit something, your lunge goes down to a two second cooldown. Lunge, go, now, Can I, I I told you you could do it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know why. Your W is repot, repot, whatever the fuck. You deal 100% of your AP and when you time it right, you can also negate a lot of shit. If you use it on any immobilizing effect that gets hit onto words, you then stun whoever your W hits while also dealing 100% of your AP. Think you're gonna catch her? No, 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 no. Fuck no you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Yeah! Ha! You think this dodging shit is dumb? Look at this poke. It's like a really, really shitty victor laser but you know what why pick fior over victor <laughs> and you know i i kind of think you, we both know why we pick i have no idea Go yo ad game. life is shit holy crap i have 82 ad are you gonna survive that high no <laughs> I told you. All right, so now let's get down to brass tacks. Blade work is your E, and again, with your AP, you're just gonna deal a bunch of mixed damage that just proves you can literally do whatever the fuck you want on this champion, and it's gonna work out. Sometimes, maybe. I mean, just, just, just don't bring this into ranked. Oh, oh yeah. But that blade work though, you gain 50% bonus attack speed when you use it and even though the first attack won't ever critically strike, it still slows the target for one second and your second basic attack will crit 100% of the time, 50% of the time, all the time. Like damn man, we get it, you vape, calm down. It's like Riot decided to make a champion that's beginner friendly where no matter what you do, you'll still do well. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Let's just change this, and there you go. Okay, so I don't understand why no one sent in anything that said that she was super broken, or that any of the juggernauts were broken for that matter. I mean, the fuck is the point of the PBE? It's like every patch they do this shit where they say, so we made Karthus as old as his Q with a 10 second cooldown. We think that this will make the game more interesting and make the role of ADC even more useless. But we'll be keeping an eye on this for the next couple of weeks, but let us know what you think about it on the PBE. And you know what happens? It goes straight to the fucking trash. Yeah, fuck you. All right, so now let's talk about Fiora's old grand challenge. Grand challenge. I am terrible at French accents. <clears throat> if you hit someone with the four different corners on the enemy that you select, that's a really hard sentence. To say. It where if <laughs> you activate your Jana heal for your entire team. But I mean, like, come on. When the hell are you ever gonna do this? When are you gonna have enough time to hit every fucking side of a champion? I'm pretty sure there are some. Fiora mains out there that say it's easy and by mains I mean those people that play the flavor of the month champion as long as they're OP say that it's their main and then switch over to a different champion calling that their main. Bunch of fucking posers. And you know what Fiora mains? You guys are the type of people that show their friends YouTube videos that aren't funny and just get responses like I, yeah that was, that was pretty funny which is probably what people do with my videos. Oh man. You know what? Fiora mains are also the type of people that play music they want to listen to at a party and fuck up everyone's mood. Fiora mains are the type of people that think that they can do everything but end up being a guy named Kenny who compensates for how small his dick is. Fiora mains are the type of people that think they're really pretty and post pictures of themselves, but really they're just ugly and have a shitty smile and their name is Kayla. Yeah, you know, I have a lot of pent up anger towards my old roommates. Fuck you guys. Always played a goddamn game called Trash Django where you stack all the trash into the trash can and see how high it goes before it falls down. And everyone goes, yeah. And then Matt picks up the trash and takes it outside. And, you know, there were also different variations of the game, like Dish Jenga and Bill and Rent Jenga. You know, I always lost because I think that was like a rule or something. But seriously, why waste your time trying to hit all sides? Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't know if that meme is still relevant or not. Instead, just kill the guy and get the ult. It's so much easier. I wanted to say fucking, but I'm trying to hold back myself from saying the F word so many times. So instead, I'm just gonna say, 
fuck. Wham, bam, boom, there you go. See how much easier that is? Who, who needs all this beating around the bush bullshit? Just kill the guy and get it over with. No one likes a tease. You know, people complain that it's a useless ult because it's only good during laning phase. Yeah, well, you know what? What the fuck do you want? You want it to be super OP during team fights also? I mean, can you just imagine how much more bullshit that would be having a Fiora and a Katarina in the same game if your ult was a lot easier to use? It'd be a goddamn nightmare to deal with. You can't have the best of both worlds or else YouTube would come out with a phone app that would play music from a video even when you exit the app so you don't waste batteries. Or watching Vines on Twitter wouldn't have two sound options of too quiet to hear or hey, I didn't mean to play this King Bash video during your father's funeral, but hey, you know, at least I'm fucking deaf. Or we could still watch leak videos from Dunky. Squeeze.